Okay, once you're finished sharpieing and you've erased, cleaned it up, you do not need to sharpie your big circle. Um, if you want to, that's fine, but you don't have to. And then we're going to keep that mat. And in your resource folder, there are some hatching and cross hatching examples. So it's just putting lines on things. Hatching, if you look here, is just lines in one direction. Cross hatching is putting lines in multiple directions. So we're gonna use that to add to some of the drawing. We are gonna use the ultra fine Sharpie for our hatching and cross hatching. So this can kind of be where there might be shadowing. So these are little doorways. So I'm gonna go ahead and hatch first and then I'm gonna cross hatch on top. So this is kind of a darker area and that's all I'm gonna do for those. And I, again, you wanna match what you do on one side because it is a symmetrical drawing, do it to the other side. And you can decide where you want those hatching and cross hatching to occur, but it is kind of to help make it have some shadowing effect. Now these are kind of filling up the space. Let's say for example, I want the shadow on this side of the building. That's where you can go ahead and just put some lines on the side without filling up a whole space. So probably on the side of all of my building, I might do that and I'm just hatching currently. I'm not doing the cross hatch technique. You could if you want, but I would do that on all the left sides of my building. So maybe up here as well. That way it kind of gives it consistency. I would do the tower over here as well to match if it's on the left side. That's where the shadow is over here. Um, kind of depends on Maybe I want it in this space, the left side of this one. So you will notice that the closer you put the lines, the darker that area will appear. The farther apart you put the lines, the farther apart, uh, the lighter, sorry, the lighter that side will appear. So use that as your gauge if you want it really dark then you're going to put more lines and closer together overlapping more of them or if you want it to be lighter then you can work on less lines and more spread apart so you can decide where you want those and add those in there okay so when you feel like you are finished you're going to come check it with me and then we're going to take your lid that you've created and we'll put some glue on the back and we will glue that in your circle spot and turn that in for a final grade 